In this video, we're going to be talking about the validation summary control. Uh, this control allows you to display all the validation errors on the page in one location. I uh, explained in the previous videos that the error message property, this property error message, is specifically for this uh, validation, uh, validation summary control and not for the validation control itself. Even though if you set the valid if you set the error message property without setting the text value of your validation control, then the value of the error message will be used when displaying the errors for your validation <laughs> control. And that sounds a lot uh complex, but I'm going to explain it uh, in the examples. The properties of validation summary that you must set are the display mode. You can set the display mode to be either bullet or maybe just a normal list. Uh, you can give it a header text so you can just write uh, something at the header so for example you can say uh, these are all the errors in the page so, uh, you can show summary or you can decide to hide the summary and you can show message box so when you use the uh, show message box property there's going to be a pop-up uh, message box which will tell the user or the errors in the page or is going to tell them that there's an error on the page if you disable the show summary and enable show message box the summary of all the errors will be displayed in the message box so let's return to visual web developer to see example of how the uh, validation summary works so if I drag a validation summary to the page now uh, what that does is uh, it actually displays all the error message in a page so without doing anything if I just uh, run the website I don't have to do anything more I can I can configure all the properties but I don't have to so if I should click on the uh, as you see uh, it's telling us all the errors now on the page well even though it's not uh, because we haven't said the error messages so as you can see that you see how it works so it's going to display all the error message in one convenient location so let's go ahead now and just uh, change some of the properties of the validation summary so the first thing I want to do, tell you which I explained before but I like to explain it again is the error message that you see here is uh, what is valid this this is what is going to be used the validation uh, the summary validation summary so as you can see I said message to display in a validation summary when the validated control is invalid so let's do this so this one instead of telling people to enter a username so we're just going to say required so the text will be required then this one the text will be required and lastly this is also going to be required so since we didn't have any information for them we can set the information to come up under here so this is where we set now set the error message which is going to be displayed on the validation summary to be please enter name then the second one I have to say please enter H please enter H and uh, last one is please enter a valid pin so this is how it works so when we run the website now and this is the way uh, is actually this is the ideal way to do it so when you click on the form it's telling us it's required so it says please enter name please enter age and please enter a valid pin so this way usually done. even some uh, websites they actually just use an asterisk so instead of saying required so what they do is they use an asterisk instead which is why I actually prefer so the asterisk will tell you that uh, the field is very important and it's required so instead of saying required you just put an asterisk you can put one or two so it's going to denote and I'm sure this, you must have seen this on uh, websites so asterisk so let's run our website and this is more this is more appropriate way to do it so let's submit form and as you see we get asterisks uh, beside all the uh, 
um, controls that needs to be validated so and we get all the error messages in one place so uh, let's look at all the properties that we can set for the validation summary so if we select the validation summary and look through we can see that we have the display mode which is the bullet list I see this is in bullets so we can choose just ordinary list without bullet or everything in single paragraph so I'm going to leave it as the bullet list we can set the edit text so let's enter the uh, all uh, page say let's say what should we say page errors something like that okay as you see the error messages just uh, come at the top uh, we can set this show message box so let's set this to true and run the website and see what happened so when you get an error message the part there's going to be a pop-up uh, error message so as I say, said there is page error and it's telling you to um, and it's giving you all the error messages as well so um, I don't like to use that actually because um, it's kind of like annoying I don't like pop-ups so the last one is show summary we set it to true if we set it to false if we set it to false then the show message box will always give us the error messages anyway so let's set it to false and leave the other one as true so if we go ahead and click on form we get all the error messages but we don't get the uh, error messages here so uh, what other properties we may want to look at uh, validation group you can uh, include it in a validation group and I think this is the uh, the end of the validation uh, control uh, validation controls in ASP.NET so um, in the next videos we're going to be talking about uh, other types of control in ASP.NET thank you